So this is a Hitachi Starboard um, for which we're developing some new educational technology, particularly in the context of teaching software design. Um, so one of the things that you often see in software design is what we do is we draw boxes and arrow diagrams of this nature. And I'll, I'll label them very simply A, B, and C at this point. Um, and then what we do is we connect those in various ways. Um, now this picture is very static, and I can't really change it. I have to redraw it somewhere else. So what we have been building is um, an extra technology mm -hmm. where we can lift these pieces up of mm -hmm. the board. Um, and what happens in that case is now we can make connections simply by drawing these. And I can start dragging these around. Or what I can do is I can make very easy copies of these and have multiple connections amongst them. I can also very easily delete these parts. Or I can, once they're stacked, they become related to each other. So what I have here is a whiteboard that now gives me the ability to stay with my design in a very easy way, in a very natural way, simply by touching, simply by drawing, um, edit a diagram like this. The other thing that's very nice about this is I can make very easy copies of this particular design uh, to a new space. So now what I can do is, let's say I didn't want this piece over here. I'll delete that. I'll delete that part. I'll delete that part. But I still have the old design. Simply by going back or simply by going back to the other, to the other side over here, I have different sheets um, of space, of whiteboard space, where I can draw and educate with my, or, or interact with my students. And all of these are actually saved in a large grid of ideas. So I have much, much space available. And everything is kept for the students to later on revisit. Um, and even so, the students can, using tablet PCs, actively engage. So different students could be playing in different um, grid cells here, drawing their designs. And at any moment in time, I can actually click on one of those grid cells, talk about what one of the students is doing, and then return to the overview and see what my class is doing.